we have gathered here today to accompany our sister, Sister Cecilia Dangme, who moved by the earnest desire to proclaim the kingdom of God to all peoples, gives her definitive yes by committing herself to share the life and mission of Jesus forever. From time to time, the Lord chooses men and women to whom he manifests his special call and he entrusts the mission to be the witnesses of his presence in the world. Today, he consecrates our sister, Sister Cecilia Dangme, definitively with the power of his spirit in the family of the missionary sisters of the Immaculate, so that living in communion with the other sisters of this institute, she can dedicate herself totally to the service of the mission of the church. Now, the parents of Sister Cecilia Dangme will come forward to offer her to the Lord forever and hand her over to the representative of our congregation, Sister Cecilia Rodriguez. ไม่ได้นะบอกให้ให้ <laughs> Congregation, Missionary Sisters of the Immaculate, many congregation as I require, Lumisa, ไม่ให้รอไม่จุนารอมะเคกุมิติอาตาวไห้ she machine with second Sunday of Advent, Tari Marie, December 2022, Nometa Shida, she St. Ignatius Parish Church, and then the Rakiba, me my own book, Kiham, and the Akaibo Kurunjari, and he should. Pagi Ajanba Archbishop Tom Lumo, Mahak O Ehana Bimayam, the Joyna family, Sister Cecilia Tamli, Magi Adulamagi Mungi, a pay parishioners on behalf Aduga Mapamashida Tiliba Bimayam, on behalf of I have my baby, Ash Bishopo. Hello, Mumaina. Welcome to Jerry. Mahagashi, uh, Sister Cecilia Tamle, Mahako Yana Nushibagi, Aduga Mama Mapa Oja Simon, Imo Mayam Yana Nushibagi, Aduga Epai Parish, St. Ignatius Parish. If I go in the Mabu, Nung Shibaki, Adoga, if I area as the Labour, Mimiam, who 
nung sibagi ngasi numela si mahama e pai ni dama apa masida marlaka aina abrahna to minaraka me mayambo ai blessing be ke aina apa masida lakani your grace thank you so much mahana e pai ko karna to bigani mahama e pai ko or blessing be ke ni ado e pai ni shu ma ki dama ngasi program ki manu masida ma ki dama karna to kisi ma ka loina na apama sita le biragriba ma ki secretary fada samad aduga hanna si parisha sita le ramba fada oliveis fada sibirin fada hector aduga atopa fada shin apama sita ebai ki mamam da order da lepi ba fada maya loina na ms ai ki congregation ki a provision ki representative ko ina mapam masita language ka sister cecilia counselor and secretary to a provincial atoba sisters maya mapam masita tiliba sisters maya ketekis maya leaders maya my pa ruma pa Pakam Risha Angang Shinkai Nomak Invite Is Mayam Bo Ehan Nanokai Koi Nomak Bo Teram Teram No Okjari Koli Masa Shi Official To Be Bagi Nomak I Hang Over This Precious Guy To His Grace Most Reverend Tomik Nomak The Archbishop Of Infa Thank you In the name of the Father And of the Son And of the Holy Spirit Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Spirit with which you all. Thank you, Father Robert, for your kind words of welcome and introduction. Asiki, Thorum Asi, Yamna, Muruguiba, Thorum Amani, Asi, Thorum Amani. Hello, Asida, to your reverend sister, Cecilia Tanmaina. Bapun si Chupa, Amur Hanna, Shoda Katopoki, Tawrami. Tawrami, Anunda, Yawi Deva. Bapun si Chupa, Shoda Katopoki, Tawrami. Tawrami, 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 Mati dengan pernah terusi. Masih di maski, sorry wahai di, tinggi, ribbon, ada di puning hong, ada di puning hong ada di forbole bahasa Jawa pun ada. Repented. Puning hong bahaya bersama, tak pun ada boleh ni, benda. Let us repent.
of God, grant we pray that those who have chosen for this special calling may, thy, may by their way of life show to the church and the world a clear sign of your kingdom. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. Christ, the hope of Jews and Gentiles. For I tell you that Christ became a servant to the circumcised to show God's truthfulness in order to confirm the promises given to the patriarchs and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, therefore, I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing to you your name. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
ไฮดาวไตซอนบัพติสตรีกวางนะซูริยาคันดีตวังตะจิกรัมเขาลุงไลคังดินอินดาวนะไซนังนิวลุงไลเถากะลัมทูติงกาวบุนดีไตอนา
बहुत कदम में सैक्रिफाइस अमा जो बताए हिरम कुदीन ममा मपारी तमा मपुर्सी कर्पा मसाप साजे लम की तमा मपुर्सी कथोपा देश की तमा मपुर्सी कथोपा कथोपा यहाँ पे कोई नहीं मरो कोई नहीं है ना
ईश्वर के उदार बना हुए लोग चरगा ईश्वर के उदार चमजरगा ไหวไปคุณลําเสียงแล้วก็ปุ๋ยชีอภพลําดีจะจันทร์ปะปะดาระนุมายก็ฟังมันนี่ฮาราวมันนี่ปุ๋ยชีแต่บางทีปุ
and signs it on the altar, thus sealing the commitment of total dedication of self to God for the work of evangelization in the family of the missionary sisters of the Immaculate. I come back to my sisters, Sister Cecilia and Marina, the Prince and the Knight of the Book of I. And I have witnessed it, Saki Suminite, I come back. Kami belum mahu memerasai ini kami guna kahau mesti sabab ni je sabab tak mesti mesti ayam rap untuk rasa pangkau katuang seal of commitment sama itu kami guna untuk teh kami tuang sakit tuang signature mesti ayam kami je ni je kuma kami hai lasan gaya ni ayam tadi teh kena kami nurut kena kami hai sakit semua itu signature tu kan teh called by God to, pro to follow Jesus, the Apostle of the Father, sower and seed, sharing in the evangelizing mission of the Church, I, Sister Cecilia Dangway, place my entire life at the service of the Kingdom, so that the Gospel may reach to the ends of the earth. In the presence of the community gathered here, in the hands of Sister Cecilia Rodriguez, delegated by Sister Tres Muller Bankiras, the province leader, I make to God for my whole life the vows of obedience, chastity, and poverty according to the constitutions of the missionary sisters of the Immaculate. I entrust myself with all my heart to this family so that living fraternal communion and with passion for the proclamation of the kingdom, I may bear witness with the power of the Holy Spirit to the gratuitous and universal love of God. May Mary Immaculate, Queen of the Apostles, preserve me in fidelity and in joy.
Now, we are at the climax of the consecration. The celebrant is going to pronounce the great prayer of blessing which expresses the meaning and the importance of the consecration. Consecration, my promise to my own Kauai. Bishop in a Suyam Tirana, Suyan Tatanu Khan, and Suyam Tapadante, and when my king Suyan Kurums and Moko. Lord God, creator of the world and father of all men, we bless you and give you thanks because you chose the people from the tribe of Abraham and consecrate them to yourself so that your name might be glorified. You have sustained the pilgrims in the heart, in the desert, with your word and protected them with your hand. You gave the poor, the despised, a covenant of your love, when your people strayed away from your loving predilection. You brought them back along the way of justice with your bounty. When your people searched for you, you called them with a fatherly care to abide in the promised land. Above all, Father, we bless you, for you will that we should know the truth through Jesus Christ, your Son and our brother, born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by dying he redeemed your people from sin, and by rising he reminded us of the glory to come. Seated at right at your right hand, he sent the Holy Spirit to call innumerable disciples so that following the evangelical councils, they may consecrate their entire lives for the glory of your name and for the salvation of the world. Today, there resounds in your house a new canticle for this sister who, having heard your voice, offers herself for the divine service. Send, Lord, the gift of the Holy Spirit upon this your child who has left everything to follow you. We made the image of Christ, Father, sign in her so that all people seeing you may recognize him, recognize in her Christ himself present in your church. We pray you, Father, that by your help she may keep her heart open to take on herself the burdens of others and serve Christ suffering in his members. May, the, may she discern the divine providence in human events that guide her. With the gift of her life, may she hasten the advent of the kingdom and finally with all the saints receive the crown of their celestial home through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The celebrant gives the ring to the newly professed sister, which is the visible sign of the covenant that binds her eternally to Christ, the apostle of her father. As we show her that I am a man of divinity, no way, no man of divinity, no pretty, the law may have to be the pass of society, but no, I hope I can hear you, I may not take on that. Perhaps, young, I for me the cinema, for me the cinema, rather than cinema, I adopt my town. Spouse of the eternal king, receive the nuptial ring. Be faithful to your spouse so that you may be admitted into the joys of the eternal nuptials. Amen.
Now, our dear sister, Sister Cecilia Dangne, has become the permanent member of the Missionary Sisters of the Immaculate. As a sign of this, Sister Cecilia Rodriguez, the representative of the province leader, embraces the sister and greets her. Atangai, Sister Cecilia Dangne, hi, my Missionary Sisters of the Immaculate Congregation, how Permanent member, kelantan, kelantan, tapi my member akan dije. Hai day, sabong saya, lelaki day, ini saya kau ni mesti nak sister boy, boy friend je boy ni nak kau makan. Jika macam ni, hai, bawa nak kau ni pun boleh dah dah hai. Yes, sister, I welcome you on behalf of our congregation leader and all our sisters as definitive member of our religious missionary family, sharing all things in common with us till the end. Fulfill loyally the ministry entrusted to you by the church through the congregation and carry it out faithfully according to our charism. Now, we begin the ceremony of the missionary mandate and giving the crucifix. The representative of the province leader announces the name of the party missionary. The celebrant says the prayer of blessing with outstretched arms. The party began to that's why that's why that's why that's why we should be nice to each other. We bless you, O God, and praise your name. In your merciful providence, you sent your Son into the world to free us from bondage of sin by His own blood and to enrich us with His gift. The gifts of the Holy Spirit. Before he returned triumphant of death, you, Father, he sent his apostles, the bearers of his love and power, to proclaim the gospel of light to all peoples, and in the waters of baptism to cleanse those who believe. Lord, look kindly on your child. We send her forth as messenger of salvation and peace. Mark with the sign of the cross. Guide her steps with your mighty arm and with the power of your grace. Strengthen her in the spirit, in spirit so that she will not falter to weariness. Make her words the echo of Christ's own Christ's word, so that Christ's word, voice, so that those who hear her may be drawn to obey the gospel. Fill the hearts of your missionary, 
missionary with the Holy Spirit so that becoming all things to all people, she may lead many of you, the Father all, to sing your praises in your holy church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The cross is the hallmark of the Christian life. Our foundresses, Mother Donas and Mother Ejilda, have the following expressions. Happy are those souls who follow their divine spouse, carrying her cross behind him. The cross is the most precious jewel. It is dearer than any other thing in the world, a magnificent banner, gift of love, a sign of friendship. Now, Sister Cecilia Dangme receives the crucifix, reminding her that the crucifix is the only inseparable friend and the constant companion in her missionary journey. Christian Panti called Cross Kazam on a Katsazam Bagay, Kubizamrina, and Nikwetong Congregation to found their Puyrina, Mother Dones, Kani, Mother Igilda, and I was at the name, and Nazan Aye, Tapu Mayrina, Cross at Walana, Christa, and I tell me, the high. A Kubizamrina Cross, I only am my knees, Gayama, or take Christian Meganto, Michael Cross, I come Mayrina. Ziamikon kai pat kani sampan to kai pat suna kamay hai kapan tiko na kami nate sisa sisilya dam ay na tao hai cross labli te lalo may tubuso sa ita ay may cross ay pernabi kai tao zansi bi kai tao labli kai kani may tong cross ay kasampan suna na labli te may tong hai. Father of Holiness, you willed the cross of your Son to be the source of all blessings, the fount of all graces. Bless this crucifix. Grant that those who will preach the crucified Christ to others may themselves strive to be transformed into his image. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Behold, sister, here is, the, here is the inseparable companion of your apostolic work, your protection in dangers and difficulties, your comfort in life and death. Amen. The Word of God. Lamp for my feet, a light to my path. Now, Sister Cecilia Dangme receives the Bible. May the gospel be the light for every step and penetrate the hearts of all who listen to her and bear the fruit in hundredfold. Rabbang Lat Hai Zengam Kang Kniya Pai Kang Mai Rame Kumas Kang Sister Cecilia Dangme Na Bible Na Prite. In the name of the local church, I entrust to you the gospel, the good news of joy and salvation. Proclaim it with your life. Translate it into the language of the people whom you will come in contact with, so that the world may believe that God is our Father who loves us in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. The party missionary reads the act of offering of her life to God for the mission. This prayer was composed around the year 1850
by Blessed John Masukuni, the first martyr of Pime, on the occasion of the parting of the first group of Pime missionaries for Oceania in 1852. So, my sister Cecilia Rina Karaswa is my Sapuni, my Aswa Hai. In 1850, called Blessed John Masukuni Rina Sapuni Aswa Ye, my Aswa Hai, missionary to Maswa Ye, my Aswa Hai, 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 my I, Sister Cecilia Dunway, filled with lively sentiments of reverence, gratitude, and love towards your infinite goodness for my inestimable missionary vocation, have resolved to offer myself for the salvation of all people, of those who still await your message of salvation. Blessed will be the day when I have to suffer much for such a holy cause, but more blessed would be would it be if I would be found worthy to shed my blood and die for it. My loving God, who inspires me with these resolutions much beyond my own strength, Fill me with the power of the Holy Spirit with which you once invested your apostles that I may have the courage to carry out these lofty resolutions. Mary Immaculate, my most loving mother, obtain for me the grace of bringing the adorable name of your divine Son together with that of yours to the furthest ends of the world. My guardian angels, holy apostles, Peter and Paul, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus, Saint Alberic, and Blessed John Masaboni, pray for me. Here I am, you called me. Lord, we pray for Universal Church, for Holy Father Francis, all the cardinals, the soaps, and the priests, that they may be inspiring instruments to the faithful, to the exemplary life, and draw people to Jesus, the sower and the seed. Let us pray to the Lord. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our Bishop Most Reverend Dominic Lumon as he shoulders the responsibility of shepherding your flock in Ephal May he be prompted and guided by the Holy Spirit 
to reawaken the church with missionary zeal and prophetic hope, let us pray to the Lord your response. Lord, we implore your abundant blessings upon our dear sister Cecilia Dangwe, who has readily accepted to be your messenger in Papua New Guinea. Bless her with good health and needed graces to serve you efficaciously in every day of our life. Let us pray to the Lord your response. Lord, we pray for the congregation leader, counselors, province leader and her counselors, and each member of a Messiah family that we may journey together with apostolic courage to the people in the very various of the world. In your merciful love, be favorable to our departed sisters, and may your perpetual light shine upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Your response. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the parents, dear and near ones of Sister Cecilia, that they may be blessed with the grace to please the Lord in all that they do. May her departed grandparents and, and other members of the family be blessed with eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Your response. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, you, Lord, to bless all of us, sisters, their associates, and friends gathered around your altar. Offering this holy sacrifice. Strengthen our faith and lead us daily with your spirit to live our Christian vocation
pray that the sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Amen. We please, O oh Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Things for your sake, and promise that they would find a heavenly treasure. And so we join the angels and saints as they sing their unending hymn of praise. Reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis R. Pope, Dominic Humona, Archbishop, with the order of bishops, all the clergy, religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind and attendance to your kingdom. 
There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
finished and full of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech your Lord that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to touch wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Lord, as we share these sacred mysteries, we pray for this, your servant, who is bound to you by her holy offering. Increase in her the fire of your Holy Spirit and unite her in eternal fellowship with your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who in Christ has shown us his truth and love, make you messengers of the gospel and witnesses to the divine love before the entire world. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ, who promised that he would be with his church until the end of time, guide your steps and fill your words with the power. Amen. May the Spirit of the Lord be upon you, enabling you as you go through the world to bring the good news to the lowly and to heal the brokenhearted. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of friends. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20 says, Always give thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. First and foremost, I raise my entire being in gratitude to the Almighty God for His divine presence, His loving providence, and for his outpouring blessings in my life. O stands for opportunity which is available thrice in tomorrow, once in today. That one opportunity is this, which I make use in order to thank you sincerely. Dear Most Reverend Dominic Lumen, the Archbishop of Infant Diocese, it's my privilege and pleasure to express my sincere thanks to you, Your Grace, for accepting to preside over the Holy Eucharist and enriching our thoughts with your inspiring homily to remain ever faithful and grateful to the Lord. I extend my heartfelt thanks to all the home celebrants whose presence showered God's choicest blessings in abundance. Thank you, dear fathers, for sparing your precious time for me. With grateful heart, I fondly remember and thank Reverend Sister Antoniela Tova Leiri, our congregation leader, for granting me the permission to make my final commitment and accepting me as the permanent member of MSI family, overall for choosing me to be a missionary to Papua New Guinea. My sincere thanks to Reverend Sister Tres Mother Pankirat, our province leader, though she is not present here today due to her ill health, for all the arrangements made to have this celebration over here. I really missed her presence on this memorable day of mine. I sincerely thank her for all that she is to me for her words of encouragement, love, and prayerful support. I remain ever grateful. Thank you, dear sister Cecilia Rodriguez, province counselor, for being here present on this memorable day of my life as a delegate in the place of our province leader and for receiving my vows and for accompanying me and supporting me all through these days. For every successful program, number of persons play behind the scene. 
I would like to acknowledge the contributions of our provincial councillors, sisters Vinita Jacinta. My heartfelt thanks to them. With grateful heart, I extend my sincere thanks to our province, to our former province leader, Sister Anita Alba, who has played a great role in my life and coming over here to join me today. I thank you, dear sister, for your continuous guidance, encouragement, and support at every step of my formation. My heartfelt thanks to Father Robert Somi, our parish priest, for being rich in heart, generous in sharing whatever you, whatever he has for the well-being of all. Thank you, dear Father. Being a family means you are part of something very wonderful. It means you will love and be loved for the rest of your life. It didn't matter how big our house was. It mattered that there was love in it. A million thanks to God for his immense love that I have experienced and experiencing through my family members, through my beloved parents, brothers, sisters, and through all my near and dear ones. Today on this auspicious day, I fondly acknowledge their sacrificial love in offering me willingly and generously for his service. May God's choicest blessings be upon you in abundance and give you all safe. With grateful heart, I remember those who have lighted the flame of my life, especially all my formators of different stages. In a very special way, my heartfelt thanks to Sister Magdalene Alva, who is present here, who has come from Siliguri for walking with me closely by motivating and inspiring. When I flash back my days in different communities, all that come to my mind is the tender love of my Lord Jesus Christ. I am indeed inspired by the very life of my superiors and sisters. Dear sisters, you have indeed played a vital role in the early years of my religious life. Success of any great event is not possible without the dedication and hard work. I am very grateful to Sister Lindsay, the superior, and all the sisters of this community and the community sisters of Moira who have taken care of me. You have made all the necessary arrangements, sacrificing your time and comforts to make this day a happy one. Thank you, dear sisters. I thank all the persons who have made a difference in my life, all the superiors of different communities, and all the sisters who have traveled and come over here to be present with us, friends, teachers, and all well-wishers who have contributed to my life. I heartily thank all the sisters, priests, all my professors, and all the persons who have taken various spiritual classes, seminars, recollections, retreats, and praying for me for this great day. In return, I implore God's choices blessings upon each of them. Gratitude is the attitude of the heart and a soul of the heart too. Yes, dear sisters, brothers, eldest boarders, friends, well-wishers, and all the invitees present here, I have no words to describe your goodness. I extend my heartfelt thanks to your gracious presence, praying for me and for doubling the joy in this memorable day of mine. Enjoyable was the time, thrilling what this was the experience, loving where everyone with smile on every face. Heart bubbling with joy and happiness, I am grateful to Father Nicholas Kamal, the assistant parish priest of Kansipur, for the translation made during the liturgy, to all the choir members, and a special thanks to Father Casey James, headmaster of Hapur Don Bosco and Co., for leading the litany, all the dancers, and to
to all the generous souls for all your contributions made in one way or the other. Thank you for your readiness to help us and for being kind and approachable. A big thanks to all of you for you have made this celebration very solemn through your melodious, angelic voice. Heartfelt thanks goes to all who have animated today's liturgy and played various roles. Thank you, Father Ningmai, for being the photographers and all the other photographers operating the sound system whose service will enable to review the ceremony later on. Sincere thanks to all the fathers, sisters, and to all the persons helping out in preparing for the meal. Thank you to each and every one present here whose presence has added more colors to this great day. Finally, I assure you my prayers and please do continue to pray for me and for my mission plan, PNG. Thank you, one and all. As the final hymn is being sung, may I request the uh, Archbishop and the fathers and sister uh, Cecilia to join for a short photo session.